Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're kicking off the series for Rainbow High reviews. I'm very excited. So we're starting off with my personal favorite. Well, as, as of right now, <laughs> Delilah Fields is my favorite. So she is a creative writing focus. Here's the back of the box. Oh, that's gotten a lot shorter, huh? Rainbow High, where creative students with style use their G-L-A-M, grit, love, action, and moxie to make their performing arts and fashion dreams come true. G-L-A-M, we're given some drag race acronyms here. Here is Delilah's barcode. There we go. We have lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of information here. YouTube sticker. Second outfit. Yeah, I am so excited. And it's been long enough, so let's get her out. All right, Delilah is now out of the box. So let's go ahead and take out every take a look at everything she comes with. So we get her rainbow high comb there it goes it's like a glittery um her color is supposed to be buttercup right so that's what, that's what we're gonna call it buttercup color we have the lovely lovely mga survey and then we have her second pair of shoes right here which is a pair of yellow like cream yellow heels with a b on the back there is some gold on the inside of the shoe. And then we have some white straps that have daisies on them. Super, super cute. I should really do something about that. Oh my gosh. Lovely. Okay, and then moving on. Here are her pants. So we have a pair of white denim jeans here. They have rainbow high embroidered on them a bee embroidered and then we have lo lots of little daisies embroidered so cute love them and then there is a little gold stud i do wish they were bell bottoms instead of whatever this is but what can you do and then here is this t-shirt um well it's not a t-shirt i don't really know what the style of the shirt is called but it's white and it has two little puff sleeves white it's a cream it's like a cream yellow <laughs> with the tool puff sleeves it's super cute there's a little ribbon on it that goes all the way around to the back then it has a little bow um it's lined with satin it's really really nice i enjoy this piece a lot i love this specific style of clothing that she has i don't know what to call it other than like non yeehaw country girl um fearless era taylor like that's what it gives me um, but that is everything she comes with, so let's get the little spinny thing out and take a better look at her face. Alright, here is Delilah's face, really up close. We have this gorgeous, gorgeous pair of glasses with this little horn rim thing. There's rainbow written on the side of them. And we can lift those up to get a better look at this face, maybe. Hello. Hi. Sorry. Okay. So, wow. This doll is so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at her. Look at her. Wow, so she has this like, they look really a lot darker on camera, but the eyebrows are really like light blonde color in person. They have white um, highlights. We have some baby blonde uh, baby hairs. <laughs> yellow eyeshadow on the crease with a little bit of like a salmon-y pink um on the lid tons of freckles that are uh the same like they're like a cream color but you know they're supposed to be like the white color of course because as we know delilah is albino that was officially confirmed on the rainbow high website and then her lips look a lot darker on camera too um but in person they're like a bright orangey pink almost uh, they also have a little bit of a shimmer, as you can see. They have like a gloss with some glitter. Super, super pretty face. You can see her eyes are like completely pale white. We have white eyelashes. Uh, mine are a little funky on this side. That kind of sucks. Um, the quality control on these Series 4. Series 4 dolls, as of right now, is pretty questionable. So 
yeah over here we can see her golden bee earrings we can also see that she has some pink blushing and then we can uh, move on to her hair so let's see if i can do this without messing up everything there we go there we go there we go so her hair is a platinum blonde of course nylon there is some curl at the end there's a little bit of product it's kind of crunchy right here i would have personally liked to see her with really tight curls um like an afro i think that would have been super super cute for her and i might even attempt to do it her hair is just down it's very long it goes all the way down to her feet and her rooting pattern looks pretty standard um nothing too crazy there although it looks like they were almost well maybe i'm not maybe it's just the way that it's parted um, and it has a middle part, and that is pulled up into two pigtails in the front, and we have these little daisy hair clip things, um, they're super cute, just white with some yellow glitter in the middle, the glitter is really messed up on that one, this one's not that great either, <laughs> it's like a, uh, sh like a shimmery plastic too, so that's cool, it's literally like attached to the rubber band though, so that's interesting, I would have liked it to just be a clip. I think that would be better. Hairline looks pretty nice. Nothing too crazy going on there. Um, yeah, she's, she looks good. She looks good. Moving on to her outfit. You can see she is wearing this dress romp top thing here. Um, so there is several layers to this outfit. The first, like the top layer we have right here is this sheer, this is... I think it's more of a top. It's like a long top, right? So a blouse, that's what it is. It's a blouse. Uh, the sleeves are cupped. There's this cute little collar. It's made in this yellow cream tool fabric that I love. There is tons of stud detailing. I think these pockets are legit. Yep, pockets are legit. We have a belt in the middle with an R that has little bees. Or no, I think it's just little flowers, little flowers. There's this really pretty lace with these cool flower details. And then we can take this to the stand real quick. We can take a look at it in the back. You see that just Velcros in the back. The belt is a separate piece. Uh, everything looks to be sewn nicely. We can take this part off and we can show off what's underneath here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So underneath that, her under layer of clothing here is attached with a stupid little tag, of course. Um, let's get her back on the stand. Here we go. So we have this white tube top with yellow trimming at the top. Super cute. Just clear straps. And then this little puffy, um, almost petticoat looking kind of yellow skirt here with some yellow tulle. And then uh, the satin underneath. And we can move down to her boots. So we have this lovely, adorable pair of lace socks. Those are so cute. It looks like you can kind of adjust, you know, like where you want them to fall. Uh, but they almost go all the way up to the knee. These are adorable. And here are her boots. So they are a white cowgirl boot made from a shimmery plastic. There is yellow buckles. It looks like there's a B on the front. They say RH, yellow soles, some gold detailing. They're very, very cute and I adore them. Uh, especially somebody who like lives where this type of style is very popular. Um, it's cool to see it on a doll because I feel like, I think I said this in my reaction video too. We don't really see this type of style on dolls very often. So it's really fun. We also have some cream yellow nail polish here that's not gonna focus and then on this arm we have just a simple little daisy bracelet all right and that wraps up her first outfit so let's get her in her second and do a final i outfit. wanted to mention that i saw some people trying to debate her albinism by saying she wasn't pale enough and she's definitely the palest doll we've gotten so far i feel like her head is actually paler than her body but yeah, we definitely have not gotten one this pale as of thus far. So yeah, that is debunked for sure. <laughs> Anyways, let me get her outfit. 
All right, everyone, here is Delilah in the second outfit. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely prefer the first outfit as a whole. I think this one could have benefited once again. Bell bottoms and a choker would have helped, I think. Uh, maybe even like a matching skirt, but like with more ruffles. I don't know, something. I really like the top, it's just the pants aren't really doing it for me, unfortunately. Even like a different pair of shoes probably would have been counter. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I really enjoy her overall, so I'm pretty happy and excited for opening the rest of them. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous doll. Oh my gosh, I just cannot believe. Um, so yeah, that's Delilah. Let me know what you guys think, as always, in the comments below. Here is the subscriber percentage, and over here we'll put the social medias, um, you know, subscribe, and uh, ring the bell, I guess. I don't know, all the YouTube stuff and whatnot, and I will see you next time with Leela. Um, cause she's my next favorite, so, yeah. <laughs> Bye!